read it in a book, in a magazine and everything, that when somebody grabs you, you will first do this and then this and then and then and then and then thousands of steps before you do a single thing. Of course, these kind of magazine would uh, teach you to be feared by your enemies and admired by your friends and everything. See. But uh, in Kung Fu, it always involves a very fast motion. Like, for instance, a guy grabbing your hand. It's not the idea to do so many steps. Step him right on the instep. He'll let go. This is what we mean by simplicity. Same thing in striking and in everything. It has to be based on a very minimum motion so that everything would be directly expressed. <laughs> one motion. And he's gone. Doing it gracefully. Not to go, ah, yelling and jumping all over him, but to do that. Excuse me. Both the American and Chinese martial art communities resent his iconoclasm. For such a young man to stand up against thousands of years of tradition and venerated authority is considered a direct threat to the status quo and its entrenched power base. Prior to uh, Bruce's coming uh, to this country, uh, you know, Gung Fu was, was alive in most all the Chinese communities, but uh, there was nothing taught to outsiders, basically. And Bruce came along, and, and with that basis of... Uh, trying to create equal, equality amongst all people regardless of race, uh, he chose to, you know, to let anybody into his school regardless of what color or race they were. As long as he knew what was, what was in their heart was good and positive, why he, he took them in. And uh, like when he was down in San Francisco where the Chinese community was much more uh, uh, like being in uh, China, uh, they, they, t they took exception to it, and he had to fight his way out of it. In Oakland, he received a challenge from the San Francisco Chinese martial arts community, um, and the challenge read that Bruce, if he were to be defeated in this challenge, would have to cease teaching Caucasian or non-Chinese students. And the Chinese martial artist came over from San Francisco to Bruce's studio in Oakland, and a very formal challenge took place. I was present there. In fact, I was eight months pregnant with Brandon, and James Lee was there. And this fight with this Chinese martial artist lasted about three minutes. It consisted of a lot of running where the Chinese martial artist took off and started running around the room and Bruce was pursuing him before Bruce finally got a hold of him and took him down to the floor and made him give up. And the, um, after the challenge ended with the Chinese martial artist being soundly defeated and they all went away, Bruce won the right to teach anyone he wanted to.